right or wrong? What should be? How it should be? Can anyone correct it? What is this le letter? Ra. Ra. But how it has to be? Like this, isn't it? Is it right? Even the circle on the top of the circle? Okay, now anyone can correct me? Yeah. But when it comes to English, what do we all do? Ups. And then what else? Which one is right? Ah, then this is also right what I wrote. Accept it. There are only two ways, two formations. One could be your print, the other could be your cursive. So you need to form the right formation. For that, we need to learn it. If you look into our big book, we got the tracing on it. We tell the teachers also how do you teach the children to trace the letter sounds on it. So please do follow it. When you can't accept your mother tongue, if I say this is my style, then why do you want to write different style when it comes to English? Only two style it is cursive and print. Kindly follow that. Why do you want to follow cursive? It's speed. Beautiful speed. Okay. Okay. Cursive. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Anything else? Okay, why do we follow print? Okay. Shall I give you the answer for your cursive? As per calligraphy, they say that the flow from the brain is very fast. So when you keep writing, you will not miss out anything. So your flow goes on. So that's why we use cursive. But why we encourage print also is because children see print letters everywhere. Is your textbook has a cursive in it? Oh my darling. Then how come you insist that they need to do a cursive on their notebook but not on their textbooks? So you can allow the children to do the way they are comfortable with okay and then when it comes to blending as I mentioned earlier we pick up the sounds we pick up the sounds to make words out of it so we're going to do a lot of games to learn this blending because Chris just did touch upon this so we're going to do this as a game wow very good I could see lot of potential trainers coming up very soon <laughs> clicking pictures very good I want you all to become trainers you know I mean it you all have to go and spread this concept teach the children as well as go and share what you have learned and I won't call this as training trainings are not given to us is it for us whom do we train is it? whom do we tra train yeah who gets training? <laughs> Trainer. <laughs> Trainer has to be trained. Ha, ah, there. The animals get trained. We sit for workshops. We, we share knowledge. I learnt a little bit, so I'm sharing it. Don't think that I know everything. I don't know. I accept it. Because when I visit the schools, I find real pearls over there. They are inside the shell. You are all amazing pearls over there. You are doing fantastic work which we need to learn. So keep sharing your knowledge with others. Okay, blending will do a lot of games to understand what it is. Then identifying the sounds. For example, let me say a word. How many sounds are there in the word? Snap. Snap. At the back, my friends, you're all okay? I feel very sad that you're sitting at the back. Snap. Okay, I got two teams over here. One team is saying there are three sounds. The other team is showing me four fingers. Very good. This is what I wanted. You know what? The number of sounds you will have to listen. The sounds are four. Snap. But you are trying to snap the two consonants and say sn a but that's not one sound it's two different sound why do we use consonant blend in our reading 
It's basically to help the children to read the book faster. Rather than he goes on saying, s, n, a, p, snap. He can just go on saying with this, s, n, a, p, snap. R, a, m, drum. J, a, m, jump. Isn't it easier? So that a child can read the book faster. That's why we use consonant blend. You could have heard that. First when I said s, n, the next time I said m. Mm. You got two different consonant blends. One is initial consonant blend. The other one is a end consonant blend. So don't think this as one sound. My friends there, did you hear me? Please do confirm that to me. Okay, the tricky words. We are going to do some tricky word games too. That time we can learn. Let's move on to... Ah, finally, we have reached. Everyone we're waiting for the sounds and actions to begin. Here we go. Let me just quickly, this is the first group. Do you have any doubts when you look at this? When you look at our first book, this is our first book, which has the sound s, a, t, i, n. Any doubt in this? Anyone? We don't start with a, b, k, the regular order. Fine? We start with this. Now I want you all to write as many words you can using not this but the letters that I'm writing on the board A B C D E F okay these are the six letters over here try and make people at the back the first six letters okay A B C D E F with these six letters I want you all to make as many words you can but don't write happy it's not there the letters are not here just a is here okay you need to make as many words within these letters like cab go ahead R is not there bed yes bed yeah my class one awesome fantastic keep chanting like that yes I loved it. Wow. Okay. If we look into it roughly, yeah, my friends, thank you so much. If you look into it, hardly how many words you think you can make with the help of the six sounds over here? A to approximately seven with the sounds if you look into it. But now I want you to make as many words you can with these sounds. S, A, T, I, P. Hmm. As many sounds with these, I mean, as many words with these sounds. Sorry. Write. I, I want you all to write down in your notebook. Write two letter words. Write three letter words. And then go with four letter and five. Okay? Just start like that. Go with two letters and then three letters. Keep going. Yeah, how many words, ma'am? Seven. Seven, okay. Okay, how many words, my darling? So, 13 words. 13 words. 13 words on the sari. Okay, you say that one time. How do we say that? 13 words one time. Anyone has written more than 13 words? 14 words one time. 14. Anyone more than 14? I want more. 15, very good. There's someone with 15 words. Come on, come on, girls, come on. 15, 15, come on, more than that. Let me see who's coming with more than 15 words. 16? Anyone 17 here? 17? Wow. 18, wow. That's a lovely speed. Come on, make it faster. Let me see who's trying to. 18? Okay. Anyone who can make it make more? 1920. Awesome. More. Okay. You know what? We got lovely word book with us, which tells you how many words that we can make. 30 words over here in this book. With 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 how many letters? With how many letters that we were able to make? Wow. 
claps for jolly family sue sara and chris who got this for us not for me i didn't do anything i'm just saying what they did okay so only with this six letters how many words that we can make 30 words isn't it isn't it amazing more than 30 words you can come up with okay we tell that each day you guys have to teach one sound so imagine if it is one sound a day how many words by end of the week you can manage to do 30 isn't it let's say six days it's not possible so you try to extend it for 10 days even then also in 10 days if your children are able to write 30 words isn't it great this is what we want to see children got to learn language not just learn alphabets or name of the letters what do we call it as isn't it a b c with that how many words that they can make or when do they start making words after one year one year practice of a to z and then you move on to two letter words and three letter words but here within six days time the children will be able to do this 30 words isn't it great that's why we have this order there is a reason now you might ask me one more question we don't follow the curves in the beginning Gomti. you are so daft and then you are trying to say that it is possible and then children have to learn in the beginning which is a curve I'm convinced that's why I'm here to tell you about it okay darling you're all grown up right you're all teachers who are teaching straight line do you all teach straight line slanting line yes. very good loved it now I want you all to draw a straight line from top of your notebook to the bottom come on do it you're all grown up you tell your children to do it right now I want you to draw it could you please do it quickly because we need to move on to the sounds At the very la. <laughs> okay, try. Anyone can able to do it? Very good. Very close to the margin. Okay, how many times? Three times. Do you think it's a perfect straight line, darling? Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Try to hold it and then draw a perfect straight line. And I can see people, what they're doing is, I wish, see I allow everything in my workshop, do everything that you can but whatever you do in this workshop you should go back and allow your children to do that because you're all holding on to the margin and trying to draw a straight line, most of you, will you allow your children to do that? Center of the notebook, <laughs> okay, so isn't it tough for us and now look at your finger turn to yourself I mean, turn turn your fingers to yourself and then look at it you would find the impression over here you must have holded your pen so tight because you wanted to draw a perfect straight line the impression is not from here my darling actually it's from here for us it's so tough so imagine how much pressure the child goes through now tell me when you were a small baby how did you hold your pen or pencil when mama gave you immediately ah there you are that's it you're right because we are all more insecure that it will go out of our hand so you hold it so tight and what do we do we draw like this now tell me is it right this is the way we draw or we draw like this so what comes here straight line slanting line sleeping line or what is it do you all agree with me this is how the kids do we also did the same so what is easy for us yeah nothing is impossible kids will do it and you can see that the children can draw like this the letter C and the letter S if you say they will do like this not to the perfect curve but at least it has a curve but when you say a capital letter and where do you use your slanting line mostly for you this particular letter capital letter this is how the children writes it is it not for the letter A only one letter A, how many days they are practicing it for one year, the slanting line for this? This slanting and then this slanting line, isn't it? Is it required? So we'll just introduce it at the right time. We use only small letters for the children, which makes the job easier for them. Okay, let's move on to the sum. Wow, this is our worksheet. Now we tell the story and then we tell them with action. And then say the sound. Okay, what is the sound here? You already learned. 
Okay, when you say it, it's like this. This is one of the favorite sounds of all mothers over here. Even if it is not your favorite sound, you have to do it every day morning. <laughs> if you have a little one at home. So what is the sound? Now you got it. It's like this. Oh. Okay, the sound is for every sound we have a lovely song which I mean uh, you can listen to it in the YouTube but I, ha I have uh, only few of them to show you I mean, this is how it is the snake is in the grass the snake is in the grass the snake is in my class <laughs> okay here we go so what is the song? Yeah. you want me to play that? No, we, we, I want yeah, a curve yeah. sound, so yeah. one, only curve we'll play, we'll make okay. them to dance for okay. it. You can keep it ready. There we are. Imagine, oh, I, I can do you easily see some of you are trying to open your mouth like this. Do you say ah, like this? Ah, ah. If I give you an apple, how you will bite it? You do you bite like this? You will not even get the skin out of it. So how do you have to bite? Ah. Like that. Open your mouth wide. Ah. Ah. And how do we wiggle the ant off and say ah? Come on, let's do it with action. Ah. Oh, lovely. You're all smiling. That means you love ant biting you. Wow, <laughs> that's so lovely. Come on, pretend that the ant is biting you. How do we do it? Ah. 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 There you are. Awesome. Okay. So what is the sound? The action is action is this. Come on, all of you. It's like kicking. Your tongue goes and kicks and comes and right. Okay. If it just going and coming, or just air is pushed towards your teeth, it might sound like. Ch. It's a. Ch. It's. Ch. Okay. Wow, look at the mouse. So what is this sound? Let's say inky mouse. Come on, all of us behave like inky mouse. All of you are the bad, come on. Friends, this is our day, let's enjoy. No one is there to watch and giggle at us. We will enjoy, come on, here we do. All of you are the bad, with action. Come on, here we go. Yes, there you are. Come on, louder. And what is this? <laughs> we'll not stress per. We'll say pat, nap. Okay, we don't say nap per. Nap. The action is if you want to know this sound, you know what? I really liked it. I was totally, I mean, into love with this Jolly Phonics. You know, every sound actually, they have picked it up so well. If you want to blow the candle and see, you will hear the sound when the candle goes off. Not your blowing or puffing sound. <laughs> not that. When the candle goes off, you can hear the sound. <laughs> That's how the sound is. When you are cooking, when the wind is blowing there, you can hear the sound. Isn't it? From the stove. <laughs> yeah, when the flame is high. <laughs> That's how the sound. There you are, awesome. Here we go. Wow. The little girl saw an aeroplane and she's pretending as if she's an aeroplane. And then saying the sound and stretching her arm and she's going to take off. Shall we all take off? Let's take off. Broke down aeroplanes. None of you want to take off. Come on, stand up, ladies. Come on. Enough, be sad enough. Now let's stand up. It's time for us to jump and play around. Here we go. All of you at the back, I'm coming there. Even though I'm short, I can walk around and see what everyone is doing. So I'm coming back. Okay, here we go with the sound. The sound is mm. Come on, stretch your arm. Here we go. Wow, fantastic. Everyone, the whole class, awesome. Here we go. Mm. Lovely takeoff. <laughs> wow, very good. Here we go. Come on, darling. Let's do it. Every one of us. Here we go. Come on. No one is going to laugh at us. Here we go. Mm. Everyone. 
Do you want to just move around here? Just go to the right hand side and left hand side. Let's do it with a sound. Let's do it. Come on. Move to the right and left and then do it. Mm. Wow. Here we go. Yes. Some of you want to do it in the center? Come. Who wants to do it along with me? Come. I want to take off. Come on. Ready. Here we go. Come, 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 come. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow. Thank you. That's so lovely. Wow, fantastic. Okay, please be seated. Thank you, ladies. But I'm a very bad teacher, you know. I can't make my children sit for long. I'm going to make you stand up again. Break. Okay, fantastic. Okay, all of you, please stand up. Now we are going to really take off. Keep all your stuffs over there safely. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Now you're not going to stand and do it. Now you're going to take your bag also with you and then make the sound mm, and break for lunch. Come on, here we go. Ready? I want everyone to run, okay? By making the sound. Mm. Here we go. Yes, we have learned something, right? We enjoyed or not? You're all enjoying class? Wow, Bangalore is awesome. Love you for that. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. With the sound. Mm. All of you, I'm watching you. With the sound. Mm. Stretch your arms, come on. Louder, stretch your arms and then say the sound. Until you don't take off, I'm not allowing you for lunch. <laughs> come on. Mm. There you are, awesome. Come on, everyone. Brilliant. Keep making the sound. Mm. Here we go for lunch. But come back, don't fly away. <laughs> we got the session. We are not yet over. Thank you ladies for the lovely afternoon session, I mean the morning session. A couple of them who joined us now can learn the new song that I taught before you entered. Okay? Look at your friends who are sitting there, they will teach you. All of you who learn the new action, can we go ahead? How do we put our hands together? Yeah, and then? And then? There you are. It's time to sleep. Okay. Now, in the first slide, because I, I need to make sure that we complete the sounds first before we break. That's why I just jumped onto it. In the first slide, you must have seen that I have written it as synthetic phonics. Do you see that? Reading is done in different ways. There are different types of reading. One is analytical way of reading, the other one is a synthetic, the other one is whole word reading. Okay? So analytical way of reading, any guess? How do we do that? We write it like this. For example, analytical is nothing but I would call it as guessing. Okay? Children, for example, the first letter sound they know it. The remaining they know that. Can you keep doing some more? See, I didn't say some words, but you guys went on saying so many words. So once you know that, I mean, this is how it looks like. Mat. The first sound you look into it. M, a, t, mat. Then you know that this should be r, at, 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 b, at. You just go on like that. That's the analytical way of reading. In analytical way of reading, why people are not encouraging nowadays is because children try to guess out the word. They don't even know what it is. They just look at the first sound. They don't want to look at the second or the third. If you write the first word, they'll feel that, I mean, this also will sound the same. And they just go and read the word. So we want the children to know each and every single sound and read it correctly. That's why we use the synthetic phonics and not the analytical one. The whole word reading. How many words that we can store on our head? Any guess? How many words that we can memorize? Kasa Panama, just tell. Paisa nahi hai yaar, bolne mein. Koi dukit nahi hai. Koon se bhi number aap bol sate ho? Lakhs. Lakhs? Very good. I wish I get that IQ. 
Any guess? 500? 5 to? 5 to 10 words to remember. Okay? <laughs> but now you will not remember 10 words, darling. In 6 days, how many words? 30. Try. How many words? Okay, 900. Wow. You know what? Nearly 2,500 to 3,000 words that one can remember. The whole word reading is also not encouraged. The analytical way of reading, I told you what is the reason we don't encourage. And the reason why we encourage synthetic phonics is the child actually sits, analyzes things, and he just tries to say each and every single sound and blends the correct word. That's why we support or encourage the synthetic phonics. Fine. Did I answer the question? Somebody asked me, so I believe I answered it. Thanks for the, the person who actually asked this question to me in the lunch break. Okay. Now it's time for us to move on to the next sound. Wow. The sound is Can you all do this? And the action is? Okay. The lady is holding a castanet and she is clicking it. So can we all click it? Is this way you want to click it? I think this will not work out. Stand up. Here we are. We are clicking castanets. Come on. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Come on. Kites are so flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. This will not do. I want you to move around. Come on, one more time, quickly, before you sit down. <laughs> come on, here we go. All of you, there, very good. Those who are sitting at the back, come on. Here we go. Ready, one, two, three. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Come on, kites are flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. Deal. Wow. One net. When you all do well, when you're all awesome, I would not just clap my hands. I would say, fantastic. Look at me. All of us together. Fantastic. Can you all do it together? Here we go. Fantastic. Feel rich. Fantastic. I did it. Sit down. Thank you so much. Here we go. So this sound is eh, eh. When you say it, look at the cheeks, yeah? It has to be like this, the chin. Eh, eh, egg, okay? If anyone is not able to say this sound, the typical story which I always crack during my workshop, if you do something good for your people at home, could be your husband, could be mom or someone else or the little ones. You do all the effort to make them happy. Finally, they don't feel happy and then you get irritated with them and you say, there you are. Awesome. You get the sound. What is it? That's how it is. Eh. Eh. Okay. I'm just skipping the sound because we don't have enough time. Can we just do a little exercise? Can you all stand up? I'm sorry we don't have time for this, but we'll do a little exercise. And then we will move on to the next sound. Okay? Okay, stretch your hands, both the hands, because I am holding my. So both the hands and then keep rotating like this. And your head. Okay, here we go. 
your leg one leg very good now put this one leg down and lift up the left leg okay yours right okay lift it up and then keep hopping come on start hop 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 until i tell you to stop keep hopping hop 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 come on yo yo wow oh, awesome i think so you need to shoot the people who are hopping for us come on hop hop until i tell you to stop hop hop the whole class bada kana ka hai na hum log thoda to digestion bhi hona chahiye chalo come on yummy do come on hop 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 keep hopping keep hopping yes 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 i want everyone over there come on come on keep hopping keep hopping yes i didn't say stop until i say stop hop 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 come on come on come on come on stop how are you feeling if you don't say the sound correctly i'll make it to hop again if you're really tired you will definitely get the sound it's like this how many of you are ready to just go down the stairs and come up you will get the sound okay one more time along with me thank you sit down okay this sound is we shouldn't touch it straight and say don't make that vibration it's just i mean imagine your tongue is like this this part of your tongue is slightly bent and the air is flowing from there and action is okay ready one two three you're all very ferocious i'm not letting you go till eight o'clock <laughs> there you are it's very easy to get the sounds out now <laughs> ah you all had the meal how was it there you are that's how it is mm. if i would have asked this sound a little earlier you would have said it so what is it mm. you rub your tummy people at the back oh my friends are you all okay okay people at the back can you see this action rubbing your tummy okay the action is rubbing your tummy should just walk down mm wow wow tasty and then this is d d d now the sound you heard it i want to do the action and i oh not me paul is taller than me paul could you please help me out so that everyone at the back can see paul is going to just do the action and every one of you going to say the sound remember only when the stick beats the drum you will hear the sound so when he does it with his thumb thumb like this you'll have to say the sound shall we paul can you just raise your so that everyone can see you okay he's going to do the action and you'll only see the sound here we go please go ahead keep doing yeah go 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 come on come on come on ah dandana ka <laughs> very nice there you are it's all our favorite sound isn't it we can't stop ourselves from dancing when we hear this okay as chris has already covered on dictation dictations are very important we have done couple of sounds but i'll just quickly take you through how the lesson plan goes the first and the foremost thing what we do is revision from the second lesson first lesson you will just start teaching them the sound but from second lesson onwards you will do the revision of the previous day's sound okay so you'll always do the revision and then start your class when you start the class you start with the story right after revision you say the story for the with the story you try to help them to learn the sound and then you tell the sound with an action too so teaching them all these things so learning the letter sound is done the first basic skill then the second thing is you immediately teach the children how to trace the letter sound so they do the letter formation once this is done then we do something called blending that is your third basic skill okay now i want three volunteers from you please any three of you please walk forward okay wow that's lovely so she is going to do the action for us okay she will do the action and i want her to say the sound and she has to go and write down on the board 
why I'm doing this is when you do this as a miming game. Children like dumb shiras? You will have to assess your children every second, but without they going through the pain of it. Did you feel that you're just going very boring? Was it okay? So it's like game. We are playing continuously some game, dance, and other stuff. Children will not even know that, oh, I'm studying, I'm learning. They don't feel that burden, but you just make them feel very light and cool that they're playing games. But actually, we are doing silent assessment, which they don't know. Without having a pinch, they are doing this assessment. Fine? So here we go. We are assessing three children over here. So I'm going to show her the card. So she's just going to do the action. Okay, one by one. So you will say the sound. You can have the mic with you. And you can take a chalk piece and write down on the board. Yeah. Very good. But how does a snake make a sound? Snake makes a shh. Snake makes a there you are. Ah. Oh. And then? Very good. Perfect. Okay, I want this child to read it out, okay? I want, still it is not done. The work is not done. You have called three children. They are all class one children, okay? One child does the action, the other child says the sound, the third child writes on the board and then reads the word. That is what you need to do. That's the final stage. Okay, can you just blend it? How many sounds are there? Just put the sound dot. Ah. Mm. So can you just read the word? What are the sounds? Ah. Mm. Wow. So shall we say fantastic to them? Come on, join me. Fantastic. Wow, that's brilliant. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. So children will not find it. Yes, ma'am. Tricky words, I'll tell you how we can introduce that. We haven't come for tricky words yet. I will introduce that once we finish the group number three. I'll definitely touch up on that. Okay. Okay, what we need to do is we do the miming game. I just walk down there. I understand the group is pretty big. I'm coming there, darling. Mm. <laughs> See how nicely I observed you from there. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to do the silent um, assessment for the children in the class without they knowing the pin or uh, that you are actually assessing or testing them. They should just take it as light and then they just do it as a game. So you just show one child the card and then ask the child to do only the action. Dumb charts you played in the school days, okay? So the same way, just ask them the action. Then the next child will say what the sound is for this action. And the third child will write down on the board and then blends the word and reads it out. So this will, the, will be the exercise. You are making the children to ultimately read the word with the help of the sounds. So you play such games which will help them out. As many words that you can give. At the same time, people who are saying that I have more number of children in my class, probably the videos that you show are 12 children or 13 children, it's easier for you guys. We have 30 children. I have one nice live example here to show you. Paul is here, you just saw him. When we trialed in India for the first time in the year 2003, he's actually a marketing guy and a business development person. To understand the concept, what he did is, he went to one of the schools where there were 60 children, 60. And he taught the children over there, and all the children, they're all Urdu speaking children. They're not the English medium children. They were able to read and write in six months time. So what we do, we pull out children like this, so, so we do 10 words, so how many children gets the chance? Three children come forward, so 30 children for 10 words. Isn't it better? So everyone has a chance, then change the turn. The child who did the action will do the sounds next. The child who wrote the word, I mean they will now do the action. So something like that. So he was able to achieve, can't we all, so do it. Isn't it easier? It's possible when we don't take this as a pressure but just make children to learn according to their pace. Okay? So play these kind of games. So blending is done this way. The other way you just say the sound. S at. So what is it? S at. Okay? 
if you find see she wrote a word stamp and then she just read it st a m stamp some children might take some time don't mistake them they need some time to understand and then listen to the sound carefully so try and drag it stamp and then say break it just chop and then say stamp so let them hear the word first let them not close their mouth but they they need to just keep saying the sound by keeping their mouth open stamp stamp okay they heard it now so they say the word stamp so you can do this way of reading as well so the blending has been done this way and then we go to something called identifying the sounds fine all the five basic skills are your parts of lesson plan so we will play something called thumbs up and thumbs down are you all ready we did the sound so let's see whether you can hear the oh we did what or yeah i think so let's see whether you can hear sound in happy happy if it is there what do you need to do thumbs up if it is not there okay i i can't see anyone's hand oh that's lovely you're all awake except me <laughs> thank you you need to make me awake okay so can you hear the sound in the word dam wow no i love you all please come to mumbai and join my class i love this class one children all they are wonderful they say all and then imagine my class anything happens come on dam sound it dam 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 so take some time for the children but don't lose your patience they will do it at the end of the day we had one child once i got really scared believe me this is one of the case study i got scared because the child was staring at me continuously for 15 minutes without even blinking her eyes i was like what happened to this child all of a sudden is <laughs> something happened so i was like darling can you say it? and she was like 15 minutes and that child now she's just 4 years she is able to blend this word stamp just four years she is in one two in ryan school and she is able to read this word wherein other children in our school are not doing reading practice so it will happen one day we should not lose our patience some children do it fast some take some time that's it okay so we did the identifying the sounds you can also play with a game called i mean thumbs i mean um, finger phonics okay phoneme fingers how many sounds are there you can put your fist at the back how many sounds are there in the word lap 3 so what are they l a p so the children do like this they try to identify each and every sound and then tell you so you play such games with the children and then at the end of the class give them dictations every day please make sure that at least they write five words wherein all the sounds that you have completed are there in that's more than enough it's not necessary that they need to write 20 words or 10 words but if you could cover all the sounds in it even five will do fine give them dictations every day and then end up your class with a jolly song okay okay i'll come to this a little later let's finish this okay this sound is g g g come on all of you it's like this g Oh, 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 oh. Paul, you need to stand up probably to do the actions for everyone who can see there. If you don't mind, yeah, come on, man, come on. Switching on and off, and then, ah, ah, ah. It's like this. You're trying to open the umbrella. Now he's doing it. Ah. We got. Mm. Wow. How was the ice cream? you also lick the cap of it right <laughs> so what is this you put your teeth on the lower lip with pressure you push the air out and the air comes from the gap making the sound and the action is can you just can you all observe him can you all see from there it's like this it's like this and this sound 
If you're all finding it very difficult, it's very easy. I tell people that if you have any problems or if you're very unhappy with someone else and you can't do anything, you please ventilate it today. In counseling, we say ventilation is very good. So people, blah, 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 they pour it out. Then the heaviness is not on them, on us, after you hear it. Okay, so ventilation is always good, then you feel relaxed. So today, think about someone whom you really wanted to give a very big bat. There you are. So hold a bat. Don't have to tell their name to anyone. You think about the person in your heart. That's more than enough. And a very big shot. Here we go. But please don't do it to me, <laughs> darling. I'm here only for an hour, then I'm going back home. Okay, here we go. Hold the bat tight. And then, ready? One, two, three. Say the sound. Boom. As you beat the ball. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. Oh my God. The whole class. Whom did you think about? People at home. Okay, the sound is boom. Let's listen to this song and then we'll move quickly. I'm not going to play all the songs, just this. All of you, let's stand up. Bring your bat and bring your ball. Bo. Bo. Bring your bat and bring your ball to the park to play. Shall we all do it together? All of us. Can you just play it, Paul, if you don't mind? Here we go. Come on. Bring your bat and bring your ball. Bo. Bo. Bring your bat and bring your ball to the park to play. Hey, it's time for us to play. <laughs> Sit down, thank you. Okay. As I rightly mentioned, the consonant blends. When you snap two consonants together, they called as consonant blends, but they are not they are not diagrams. They're not one sound, rather. Okay, very quickly, because I just want to make sure that you're all having great time. Very quickly, write a, e, e, o, a in your fingers, on, on your fingers. Quickly write it. Very quickly write it down in one of you, and either right or left. A, e, e, o, a. And I'm going to say some words. When you hear the vowel sounds in the word, you will have to show that particular finger out. You're all ready? Here we go. The word is, did you all write? All of you, only few, I can see only 20. But I heard there are 425 or 30 people here. So how many hands should be up? 400 only, what about remaining 30, they're sleeping. <laughs> oh, did you count us? <laughs> okay, so all of you, ready? The word is pram. Which is the vowel sound which you need to show? Pram. There you are. And the word is antiseptic. There you are. Awesome. Check, check, check. It's okay. Doesn't matter. I learned it that way. Antiseptic. What are the vowels there? A. All the three. A, E, E. All three vowel sounds are there. The next word is transparent. There you are. <laughs> transparent. Awesome. Very good. Lovely. That's beautiful. The next word is fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. There you are. Wow. When you are all really fantastic, what do we do? Fantastic. Very good. Now let's move on to the next. Okay. This is a time I would stop. I mean, I'm just sharing what I normally do, okay, generally in my class. After finishing the three group sounds, I would stop for a while, revise all the three group sounds, then teach them the doubling rule, and then also teach them when does which curve comes. Do you know when does the curly curve come or the C comes in the beginning or when does the K come in the beginning? Any idea? Not to you. <laughs> when? Okay. Okay, let's quickly revise all the vowel sounds, the short vowels that we learned. What are they?
Okay, these are the short vowels, right? So let me write a word and I want you all to blend this word. Let me see if you are blending it correctly. If you do read out the word correctly, then I am correct. If you don't, then I am wrong. Okay, here we go. Thank you for confirming that I am right. Why did you laugh? I meant that. Thank you. I did write neck. So I am right. Okay, people at the back, I'm very sorry. Ah. <laughs> okay, there you are showing me the action. So it is right. Tick, you read the word correctly. Thank you. I wrote l, o, k, lock. Is it right? Lock. I wrote l, o, c, k. So you all agree. You read it correctly. That means my word is right. I can hear someone saying that I am writing the word duck. I wrote D U C. D U K. Duck. Correct? You all read the word correctly when I wrote. So that means I am right. Thank you. It's done. Why? Why it is so? Why? It's just a spelling. Why that spelling? You know why? Soon after the short vowel, if you hear a k, it should be curly k and the king k. Both will come together. For example, you can just listen to the word rocket. Can you write and see? Is both the k there? Packet, jacket, is it? Locker. So can you see both the curves over there? So it's soon after the short vowel, you'll have these two curl together. Curly curl and king curl. That's one of the rules. Okay. We have seen that some of the words in English which has a double letter. For example, you're all miss. Isn't it? Your students call you Miss. So is there a one? Okay, ma'am. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I was calling my teacher Miss. So when I call her, I, can, I, can I write her write like this? With one S. Is this right? Why? Oh, you mean to say that we stress a lot? That's why double S. Miss, kiss, do we do that? No, we just say miss, we say kiss, that's it, there's only one sound, we don't hear miss, kiss, we hear one, isn't it? So that's, that's also having the same rule, soon after the short vowel, if you hear the sounds like, the letter sounds like, s, mm. Z. These four letters will get doubled. Fine? Soon after the short vowel, if you hear these letters, it will get doubled. Fine? Okay. We are anyway going to do this particular spelling rule when we have to cover the grammar bit. But now, since we also have less time, but this is the right time to learn also, the flow will be good. So I want one person to come and stand next to me. I'll tell you when which curve will come in the beginning. Can anyone volunteer yourself? I'm not going to eat away. I had enough food. They did serve me delicious food. Who wants to come and stand next to me? Come. One of you. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you. Um, do we have the flashcards over there? Flashcards. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for coming. Good. You can have the vowel sounds with you. These vowel sounds. And then I take this and you take these two, for example. Okay? And you can hold it for everyone. Yeah, we can show it to everyone. Okay. 
Now look at this. Let's hear sound. Someone told me to make a word cat. A and cat. Someone told me a word kiss. Oh my god. Okay, just do this. Okay. Oh my god. Whenever this vowel sound is there, I get scared. I go shivering and I can't make my sound curl. I just go and say city. I can make words like that. I can't make my sound curl. Oh my god, what do I do? But the word that I need to make is kiss. So what do I do? There comes the king. The king comes with the ass and then shows that ah, I'm the powerful man over here. Don't worry. And he says, oh, you silly girl. Why do you get scared? I'm your king. I'm here to take care of you. And he comes in front of this curly girl and stands and says, you may go now. And he says, I'm very brave. I don't get scared of any vowel sounds. And he stands over there bravely and makes a sound. K e kiss. Okay, whenever these, this vowel sound is there, the k gets scared. So what is the sound it makes? This you will see in your grammar part. Okay, since we have to cover that bit. Okay, now I heard a word, kept. Oh no, even this vowel sound I get scared of. Whenever she's there, I can't make my sound k. I make the sound center cement oh no I can't make my word k. what do I do whom do I call there he is he comes there so he comes there and he says the sound k, 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 e, p, t, kept fine so you got it whenever the two vowels sound e, and e is there the king curl takes the position the first position thank you ma'am is it clear my friends and when does the curly curl comes for the vowel sound a o a perfect here we go we need to move on to the next okay People were asking me, when do you start the capital letters? We could start after we complete the group number 3, 2. Or else you can, come, you can do it a little later after you complete all the 42 sounds. So I would start now because we have to teach them something different. Now I'm going to teach them the capital letter, small letter and the name of the letter. Imagine for a while we all don't have a name. Imagine we all don't have a name. Talk to each other. The lady came in, lady yap, 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 yap. And then the lady was sitting down and there is one more lady who was eating, eating. There's one more lady who was yawning. The other lady went out of the class. One more lady came up. All of a sudden, which lady? Okay, I'll do that. Sure, I'll just repeat that. Well, the curl rule. Sure, just two minutes. Okay, which lady is that? I was talking about some lady. We don't know which one it is. If you know, for example, someone comes into this room and say, Lady, can you come out? Who would go? Every one of us or none of us? We'll just stare at him. Whom do you want? So until and unless we don't have a name, we don't know who we are, I mean, whom we are trying to talk to. So a name is being given to the letters too. The same way. Like how you and I have name, the same way these letters have name like A, B, C. They are nothing to do with the word blending. They are not used when you read a word. They are just called by their name. Isn't it nice the English people have given name even for the letters? That's great. We just have only sounds. We don't have a name for the letters. They have given the name for these letters like how we all have name. So it becomes so special, isn't it? So when you teach a grammar bit, I mean I, I have to just quickly cover that curl I am coming there ma'am. When you do the grammar bit, you can again start with the capital letter and small letter because we need to teach them when do we use the capital letter at the beginning of the sentence and for our proper noun. So you will have to 
again revise this with the children once again okay there we are and then the use of dictionary will come back I mean Chris has already spoken about it so it's it's really lovely because I love this dictionary it is very useful it doesn't go with the IPA we call it what is that anyone knows it international phonetical alphabets okay IPA we don't follow that we don't follow symbols do we follow the symbols when we write and read do we use the symbols no we use the letter sounds only so here in this dictionary it is so beautifully described about the sounds not the symbols if the symbols are there many of us will not understand how to pronounce the word so here we teach them the regular sounds the alternative sounds we help the children based on the regular sounds only we are able to help the children how to read the word fine so this is a lovely dictionary you should go through it okay so far we have seen ma'am i will not forget but just remind me okay just coming back you know so far we saw single letters right which makes one sound now we can see two letters over here which makes one sound it's called as diagram okay what are these i mean a and i but it sounds like a okay like that i mean you will find many diagrams if you see in english they all together how many diphthongs are there diphthongs this a is like i mean it has a gliding vowel sound so it's all called as diphthongs if it's just like e it's a monotong so there are 12 monotongs and eight diphthongs that we have all together the vowels are 20 there are 20 vowels in jolly phonics we try to cover 17 initially then we cover many later when we cover the grammar part teachers at the back you okay i feel very sad do you want us to move a little further chase you're okay okay so fine the sound is a this will not work out i want someone to run can you join hands with me Okay, who wants to run with me? Any one of you? I'm a poor runner. Always been last in my school. So you can run with me. You want to run, darling? Come, please. Where did we leave the sounds? Here we are. So we're going to do a running race. You're all ready? As I mentioned, I can't run much faster. So we're going to touch these two ladies and then come back and touch the board. Okay, on your mark. Anyway, I'll not run faster. You don't worry. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Very good. Come back. Oh, very good. If one person runs, I'm very audible, I believe. If, if one person runs and calls this as a sport and says, I won, do you appreciate and announce the person's name on the mic? No. no. What do we say? Ah. That's it. We will not announce your name. Now come. The competition when it is with two people or more, then you know who has actually won the race. Is it not? Shall we go? On your mark, get set, go. There she is. Oh, oh my God. Worse. Oh my God. Oh my God. I couldn't run at all. So who won the race? Oh my God. The one who won the race, her name will be announced in the mic. And the one who lost, I need to keep quiet. Can I just go and say, hey, I'm I, I lost my game. Hey, I'm I, I lost this. I wouldn't say anything. I feel so and I'll keep quiet. So when two vowels walk together, can we put the card up so that everyone at the back can see? When two vowels walk together, the first one does the talking. And I keep quiet. The one who came first is A. So what is the sound? A. A. So we do this with the action. We got a different story for that. So we do it. A. A. As if you can't hear. So I'm going to say a story. This is how it is in the book. Did you all hear me? A. So yeah, A. This is how the story for us in the book. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for that. Fantastic. But you can do this kind of activity where the children can learn or understand it much better. Okay. 
This is time I would introduce a tricky word. The reason why I'm introducing the tricky word now is I taught them the capital letters. So that means that I'm going to teach them some sentences now. So the first tricky word is I've been running up and down to search for the things, materials. Um, I hope it's here. It's here. Ladies, I think some of you have to go early. But don't you think so? You will miss something if you go early. But it's left to you. Sure. Now, some of them, they said they want to leave early. But if you leave early, don't you think so that you will miss out something? But it's left to you if you want to leave early. But if you want to stay, you're most welcome to stay. Okay, there's lots to listen. Because I just don't want to rush, because you all are going to go. So you're all ready? Ready? Are you all ready, my friends? Yes. Okay. All oh, the mic. This caller mic doesn't work, sir. It's only for that. Okay. Wow. That looks pretty, isn't it? I got a lovely tricky hat. You know why? There are some tricky words which we can't blend them as we are blending the other words with the help of sounds. If we do, we can't read the word as it is. So I'm going to find out the first tricky word for us today. Are you all ready with me? Keep saying, come on, abracadabra. Come on, gilly gilly. Choo, yay, I got a tricky word for the day. And the tricky word is I. This is not a letter, it's a word. I. I am a girl. I can run. I have a pet. So you can create sentences because you can also do it through mnemonics where you can just say for because, how you gave an example, for could, how you gave an example. You can do it. But otherwise, I prefer that you make sentences. Let the children understand how to use this word in different contexts. Okay? So for example, I can run. Can you make a sentence, ma'am? Very good. Say any sentence with I. With I. I can sing. Wow, very nice. I like mangoes. Wow. I am a girl. Oh, very sweet. <laughs> good. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> I love you. Wow, love you, love you. <laughs> I love to teach. Wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. I can write. Very nice. I can read. Wow. I'm feeling sleepy. Wow. It's me who is also feeling sleepy. Okay. Listen, I made a sentence with I can. If they want, they could have changed the sentence to I like chocolates or blah, blah, whatever it is. Children are like this. When you tend to say a sentence, you try to frame them. They try to use everything and then the last word, they change it. So I can run. I can jump. I can skip. Fine? Isn't it easy? Don't you think so? This, uh, these uh, words, the children can write it as a sentence. They've been writing as a, these are like dictation words. But now they're going to write it in one sentence and which makes little sense, right? It makes sense. So it is a sentence. So they're going to put it in one line. I can run. Does it make a sentence? So don't you think so? Your four-year children can write sentences? Isn't it easy? The words are so simple. Fine. So like this, we would introduce a couple of tricky words for them and then tell how this has to be used. And yeah, some more sounds and then I'll tell you how you can go ahead. Okay, this sound is j, j, jan, j, j, j. It's like this, the action is like j, 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 j. 
because mama is carrying a plate full of jelly and then it's so wobbly and she goes and says j j j j come on all of you j j j j j and then now i'm not going to say what it is when two vowels walk together the first one does the talking and tells its name what is its name and the action is o when you see someone who met with an accident how do we go ayyo yo devda poyara okay here we say o okay it's o so a couple of tricky words that you can introduce these are the first set of tricky words that we'll be introducing it to them the 12 tricky words some more are there but this is more a rhyming he she me we be together and then comes i two vowels walk together the first one does the talking and says i you salute and say i, I. come on all of us i, I. perfect here we go ah this is a lovely sound the donkey makes this sound when the donkey is angry or happy or sad you can see the donkey making the sound and when it makes a sound it, its ears also moves up and down it's like e with two hands o e o e o okay i'll do actions you're all going to do the sounds for me okay here we go ready Awesome, perfect. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Now, what I wanted is, we will be. We did that. You know what? We got something like this in grammar. When you have to teach them grammar, you don't have to push much on the children. They can learn grammar when they're doing the phonics with you. You know how? I need someone who's taller to write it down. Did I leave the desk? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now all of us will stand. Let's see what we can do. Now look here. We got these words. Set of words. I'll just say the words. You can write down in your notebook because those who cannot see the word. I. He. She. You. Then I will say the singular form. Okay. Okay. they you which is a plural form and then we okay i have written these words do you want to write them like this the way i have written i he she you the singular they you plural form and then we okay and then i am writing a word called can okay can and here i'm writing the word skip stamp run hop okay jump okay the next is you did sleep sleep clap sit okay now i'll just do this for you all the words that i've written i can tell you in the middle i've written can and then on the next row on the line the column i would say i've written the word skip stamp run hop jump sleep clap sit fine now you know what we are going to do if you have written it makes my job much easier because those who are at the back you can't see the board so now we are going to do some action i'll do it and then you follow it so the first one is i I can skip he can skip she can skip you the singular so one point you can skip they can skip you can skip we can skip very good are you all skipping you're all sitting come on here we go stand up all of you stand up let's do it here we go so this is the way you can introduce the pronoun for the children and your verb okay here we go I can skip. Come on, skip everybody. I can skip. He can skip. She can skip. You can skip. They can skip. 
यू कैन स्किप वी कैन स्किप और इज इट आई कैन स्टैम्प कमन ऑल ऑफ यू ही कैन स्टैम्प she can stand you can stand they can stand you can stand we can stand come on i can no skip this word <laughs> i don't want to give you this word run you all run away now now this word next word is hop i can hop he can hop she can hop they can yeah they can hop You can hop. Where are you all hopping? No one is hopping. Everyone is standing. Come on! I can jump. Everyone, I can jump. He can jump. She can jump. You can jump. They can jump. You can jump. We can jump. Wow! The plural form make it like this. So now I can sleep. That's our favorite. I can sleep. He can sleep. She can sleep. Can sleep. They can sleep. You can sleep. We can sleep. Yeah. Come on. I can clap. Come on. Clap. He can clap. She can clap. You can clap. They can clap. You can clap. We can clap. I can. Very good. There you are. Isn't it nice? But remember, what did we cover? Was it just like a sentence, or what did we try to cover? What are they called as? The pronouns. Isn't it? With action, you teach what it means. So they learn the pronoun without you say pronoun, pronoun. Now you do the action. They know that it is I, it is she, he, you, they. So they learn it, and then. the words the action words you all did the action for it so action word do you think so the grammar will be very difficult for children to learn isn't it easier so you can start teaching them as you're teaching the words they are all learning the grammar bit so the tricky words are very easy to introduce these are all your tricky words but they are also called as pronoun okay let's move on to this what is the sound The B is buzzing. And then look at this. Never allow your teeth to touch your lower lip. It's like this. Like how we whistle. Water. Wet. Okay. Welcome. Wish. Do you want to sing this? I see the clouds moving. Wa wa wa. I see the kites flying. Wa wa wa. I see the trees bending. Wa wa wa. The wind is blowing strong. Okay. The kids will love all the songs. Now no more songs. Only sounds. Okay. Look here. They are lifting the heavy load. When they're lifting the heavy load, they make the sound. Mmm. But both the hands. Let's all of us try. Shall we pretend as if we are lifting the heavy load? Come on, bend. You're all Karnam Maleshwaris here. You can sit and do it. I never knew that. Come on, let's stand up. Let's lift the heavy load. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, come on. Mm, song, long. Mm, mm, mm. Can you all say the sound? Louder. There you are. The sound is. You keep your teeth on a lower lip, and you'll feel the vibration. Vehicle. It's not vehicle. I used to make this mistake. I'm not ashamed to say this. I used to make this mistake, but I learned it when I learned Jolly Phonics. I say, Professor, the vehicle has come. Then I understood it's not vehicle. It is vehicle. Vehicle. Oh, look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, all of you. Okay, here, all of you. We are going to play a game quickly. Some of them ask me, how can we differentiate which is a short, 
ooh and a long ooh, the little ooh and a long ooh. How can a children know about it? You can play some games for the children. This is the right position. You will keep your position like this, your hands. When it is a long ooh, you will have to put your hands up, raise up. Okay? When it is a little ooh, put it down. Make, put it down, okay? But your position will be this. Again, you need to come back to your position, okay? Here we go. Ready? Moon. Cook. Ooh. <laughs> Cook. There you are. Look. Spoon. Took. <laughs> Room. Roof. Ooh. There you are, guys. Enjoying. There you are. Okay? You play such games so that the children enjoy doing it. At the same time, they learn the pronunciation of it. You could play four corners game. There are a lot of games which is there on the net. You can browse in and look for it. So we don't have enough time to play that. Let's move on to this. Wow, yummy. You may were licking the ice cream today like that. When they gave the ice cream, wow, it was watering, right? You all went and said, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. There you are. Yellow, yogurt, yummy. Oh, look at this. You're taking a picture, so you're clicking it. There you are. Okay, very good. The sound is. Okay, I'm going to do the action. You're all going to say the sound. Ready? Okay, here we go. The sound is. This is your favorite sound. Why should I teach you this? This is the only one without any mistake. We all can do it. Shh. Isn't it? And this sound, you got the voiced th and unvoiced th. The voiced one will sound like this. Can you all listen to me, my friends? I love that. Let's listen. Let's learn this sound was sitting over there also were attending the training were come for the materials you can just check with them and you are all getting it free it's not a joke please try and understand i know you were all laughing giggling i loved it but darling the seriousness and the value of this you will not know those who are uh, giggling at it but we know the worth of it the pain I haven't slept for so many days just to give you this. He is not slept properly because he's been traveling around because it has to reach the children. Our aim is not just the teachers alone. It has to go to thousands and thousands of students to help them out. I love you. You can enjoy the class. I'm not saying no. Say ooh, ah, I don't mind. But there are a lot of people who come all the way to learn this who are sitting at the back every time standing up to listen what I'm saying who can't hear this. So I'm, it's my humble request. Don't mistake me. Don't take it very hard. It's just a request. Okay, here we go. The sound is er. It's in the mixer. Mother er. 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 Wow, look at this sound. Ah. When you go to the doctor, that too, if you have a throat problem, you go to the ENT specialist, what he would ask you to do? He will be happy if you open your mouth like this. You will say, open it wide. Ah. 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 Like in ah. Sha. Ba. Okay. So, there's a long vowels. We have been learning some sounds, right? I told you the short vowels. A, E, E, O, A are short vowels. A, E, I, O, U. These are long vowels in English. Mostly we all know vowels which are A, E, I, O, U. But what you have been saying all these days as A, E, I, O, U doesn't sound like A, E, I, O, U. They sound like A, E, E, O, U. And the long vowels are? Yeah. The diagrams. There are two letters making one sound. A, E, I, O, U. You can play some games with the children. Okay. We're done, all the 42 sounds, isn't it? 
as some of the teachers in the government schools who have attended. Teachers, we always know that the private school teachers take a lot of effort to do, but your competitor is none other than the government school now. The interest that they are showing, the amount of time they spend for this workshop, can you believe? Till 8 and 8.30 I was sharing with Chris. So they really wanted to bring some improvement in the government school. They sat down till 8.30. Can you believe you have the recorded thing also over there in Kadalur and Krishnagiri? Just check with them. They sat for that long because they want to bring some change in the children. I wish you all can do it. Okay, the 42 sounds are done. These are the 42 regular sounds we call them. And let's quickly recap the five basic skills which are very essential for you to take the class because your lesson plan is based on this five basic skills. And then the tricky words we have already seen this tricky word, so let me not. These are tricky words. This is the first set that we introduced. Then this is the second set, but you introduce one tricky word uh, in a day or one tricky word in two days. You can teach them as you think the children can do it. Don't push them, but let them do it slowly. This is tricky words. Okay, now tell me, is this a tricky word or a regular sound? Can you all say what the sound is? Okay, but this is a tricky word. The right way to pronounce this word is aw. Oh. It's a sound. You know, that's why I said the dictionary is also very nice and the teacher's book is very, very nice. It's very clearly mentioned how you will have to pronounce these tricky words. So kindly go through that. Okay. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? Work, acts, was, or was. So it is written, work, or, z, was. It's written in the bracket for you, how to pronounce the word. So it's very easy. So how many sounds are there? Quickly, just not, not wasting our time. How many sounds are there in the word barbecue? Barbecue. How many sounds are there in the word barbecue? Shall we just do it? B, A, B, E, K, U, barbecue. How many sounds are there in the word hammer? A, M, O, hammer. But how many letters did we write? There are six graphics, but the phonemes are? Oh, okay. Let's move on to the alternative sounds. The letter Y is also called as semi-vowel. Why it is called as semi-vowel, you know? Because it takes the sound of I and E. Whenever the I, I and the E is very shy. Oh no, I don't want to be at the end. I don't want to stand here. The toughy Y comes over there and stands there and then says the sound I or else E. So this letter has two different sounds. I and E. And then its original regular sound is Y. Now in this word it is Yak, the baby sky. Isn't it? Y for Yak. And B, A, B, E. It's like baby. And then sk, I, sky. Okay, because these are our worksheets in People Book 2. So far, whatever the sheets that I had shown you, it's in People Book 1. It's really worth a couple of you ask me. It's available. You can purchase for your school. The people book two are here. So these are, we have done when does the Kerlika and Kinka come together? Okay. Now I'll just quickly recap those who didn't hear. Ma'am, soon after the short vowel, a, e, e, o, a, if you hear a k sound, then both the k will come. Kerlika and Kinka. Fine ma'am. The next thing is, when does the kinker come in the beginning? When the vowel sound i and e is there, that time you write the kinker in the beginning because Kerlika feels so scared and it shivers and then says the sound s. Then it becomes city center. That's where the kinker comes over there in the front. Is it easy? Done? Okay, we saw the doubling rule. When does the letter get doubled? We got some comprehensions for the children. 
See, it is very important that when the children are learning, it is not just to learn the sounds and just try to read some words for you. Our aim is to develop the language skill, isn't it? So make the children to do their reading and writing and also on their own independent writing is very important. Give them some pictures and ask them to comprehend that. They can write one or two lines to start with. Even one line will do. Then slowly let them develop writing two lines and three lines. So this is a wonderful book. Just go through it. So let's try and read this word with the short vowel sound. A, p, r, i, k, o, t, apricot. Is it apricot? If it doesn't work, then use the long vowel and try. Apricot, isn't it? Now let's try. M, e, me. Or is it m, e, me? So whenever the short vowel doesn't work for you, use the long vowel sound and then blend the word. So it's just an example. We got nice vowel song. You can listen to it in the YouTube, darling. Don't mistake me. Okay, here we go. I want three people over here. Any three people, please join me. Any three, please quickly. Let's make it a little faster. I know to get rid of this Bangalore city traffic, we need to go home early. So come fast. Okay. Thank you, darling. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Okay. Can you all put the card up so that everyone can see? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Can you read this? What are the sounds? A, T, hat. Wow. So what is this? Hat. But you know who I am? I'm known as Magicy. Whenever I stand here. I changed the short vowel to a long vowel. I got a magic wand. When I just touch the short vowel, it says its long vowel sound. Look here. There you are. Is it? Now let's try some more. Can you hold this, ma'am? Just the first letter. And then, who am I? There you are. Great. Isn't it? When I come, I change the short vowel to a long vowel. If you change any short vowels, it happens the same way. It's just one example. I'll just show you this. Like, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. So, did I leave that remote over here? I left it there. So, is it easy? I'm saying some word. E. And then, if I add a magic e. T, it becomes a ta, and if I add a magic e, becomes t. A t. Magic e. There you are. Isn't it easy? How cute you are. You all did it. It's very easy. Look at this. Name these time bone. Two. When the magic U is there, magic E is there, it changes the short vowel to a long vowel. Either way, you can do the story. You can say this as a magic E, or you can say, who walks first, they will say their name, right? So the one who came first looks speech down. Oh my God! Still, it's me who came first. How on earth that you can say your name or sound? So keep quiet. He goes, hops on him, and then says, keep quiet, and comes back and says this. Name. So you can create stories so the children understand. It's like that. Hat, hate. Okay, can I just move on? You understood the concept, so let's move on. Okay. Okay. This is some of the examples to show you. So we always make the children to do the tricky words. We keep introducing the tricky words. As they keep progressing, they learn more number of tricky words. So here we got the toughy Y, because I is so shy. For example, the word like play, L A, 
Tai is so shy. So who comes over there? The toughy Y. The same way for the word boy. The I is so shy. So who comes over there? Tuffy Y. So whenever the I or E is so shy, the Tuffy Y takes the place of the shy ones. So here, I'll just quickly now take you through all the alternative sounds. Look here. There are different E. Teach. Teacher. How it sounds? The E A. Beach. So that is also E. The letter Y also makes the sound E. And this regular sound E. A different E. As you progress, when you move on to the grammar level, you will find many E sounds. Look here, I. Like in Thai, magpie. Okay, and then you can see the magic E I. And then you call the toughy Y, which also makes the sound I. And look here, ow. Look here, crowd. When you say crowd, and then flower, ow, and the O sound too, like here, er, you got different. Like in church, what are the sounds in church? Ch, er, ch, church. There are three sounds. How many letters that we write? Six letters. Fine? So we got the other one, er, like in bird. Okay? So that we got some comprehensions for the children to write even in this book. Then here the book number three, the people book number three will have this particular sound. As they progress, we teach them more spelling rules. Initially we start with the 42 sounds, then we give them one by one and we give a lot of practice for the children. You give them as much as you can so that they try and understand. Now the, these two letters, when they come together, they also make the sound. Is there any other letters that also make the sound? What you all do now, when I do something very funny, you all? Can you hear the sound? How many sounds are there in the word la? L, a. There you are. Do you understand? Like that if you see there are many sounds that children will learn on stage wise. But now we don't dump, dump everything in one go. So we got um, the grammar part where the children learn more spelling rules in it. Okay, here are some of the examples to show you. These are the worksheets, just quickly. This is a soft C that we have learned. Okay, the same way like soft C, even the Y, which is a semi vowel. Whenever it is there, the letter C becomes very soft. Okay, it also makes the sound S. So the same way we call soft G. Why I didn't touch upon the soft G over there is, you can even find some words like get, gift, which is a regular sound. And some words in English, which is like, Ginger, gender, which will have a j sound. Few. But whereas for the k, the rule is applicable, but not for j and all the words. These are the worksheets which we have done. These are the different types of a sound which we have seen. And the e also we have seen. This is i. Like it? High. Light. Five. The first one. And then the I like in Thai, I like in sky, the I like in smile. And then there's this O like in bone, O like in goat, O like in snow. You know what you could do teachers? You may think that now, I mean there we had a lot of actions for the regular sounds, but this we don't have. If you want you can use small phrases to make the children to understand. Oh, blow the snow. Okay? Simple phrase which will help the children to remember. Oh, phone home. Some phrases for the children to remember, it will be easier. Children will ask, Miss, which O we need to write? Then say, Oh, like in phone. Then they know which one it is. You can help them out always. These are the different types of U. U, like in cute. U, like in barbecue. You like it, chew or stew. Ow. Like it, cow, as well as ow, shout. The two different ow over here. This one we have seen. Hot. I'm just taking you to the book number three, how the sheet looks like. 
so which we have already done i'm just quickly moving on to this this also we have done just showing how the worksheet looks like when two letters come together and they make one sound what do we call them as when three letters come together and they make one sound they are called as trigraph okay they are trigraph so look here we got the comprehension at the end this is one particular story i just show you how the child was reading this story do you all want to listen to it very quickly Can you listen to this? The video? Video? waste her time this is a 4 year old child she was almost 4 and up this child read this comprehension which i showed you she read that page without any mistake she read it on her own did you hear anyone murmuring and telling her or teaching at the back she's holding the book and she starts reading it on her own and she just holds it like this and it reads no one can see her also she reads it like this when we were trying to shoot her she turns like this when you come this side she holds the book and she read everything without anybody's help so this happens when you follow all the instructions that you need to follow if please use the teacher's book follow the instruction it's okay sir if it doesn't work it's okay chale it's okay sir i'm going to is this at least coming ye to aa raha na so this is the story that the child was reading she read it without any mistakes and then she tried to do the comprehension of it so four and a half can do it then imagine your children in class 1 can do it very easily so when you talk about grammar this is very very important children should not go through the pressure of learning grammar it should be fun we did one bit of it two bits we did one was the pronoun we have already covered then we did cover verb so verb when you do it is an action word you do this and pronoun we did it that with action like i he she okay this is how we teach them till the age 11 to 12 the children can learn the grammar we got six levels in mean, grammar 1 2 3 4 5 6 and grammar is as i mentioned it's not just to do with one the rules yeah just not just a as a speech it also deals with the spelling rules like someone asked k n when they come together they make the sound m mm. isn't it so they learn the children learn w h when they come together sometimes they sound like in hole is the sound the letter h sound sometimes it sounds the sound makes the sound w w r what is the sound r so these are the things we teach the children when we teach grammar step by step they will learn all the spellings without any pressure on them so we got all these things very um, clearly given in our books the phonic handbooks are there and the people book but the big books are awesome i am feeling very bad that the book is not here but just let's quickly go on to these are some of the worksheets but i am going to take you through something this is a grammar big book 1 and 2 very big it is beautiful picture i pictures on that and children can easily learn from it okay see for example this now when we teach them noun for proper noun we show this as action can you all do it along with me this is proper noun and common noun is this i got a nice 
um, cut camera. I mean, it's like it was there in the handbook. We did cut it and then laminate. I can just show you all. It's just a sample to show you. Something like this. You can give it to your children and ask them to go around the class and now identify the proper noun which is there in the class. What are proper nouns? If it has a name in it. For example, girl. Is it a proper noun or common noun? And if I tell her name, Falgar, then proper noun. And then I say, um, projector. And it has a name in it. What is it? Panasonic. Then it becomes anything which has a name in it, it becomes proper noun. Now look at the clock over there. What is the clock there? Name of the clock is? I can't see everybody. I'm blind. Ajinta. So, okay. So it has a name. If it is not having any name, it's just a common noun. Clock. If it has a name? Wow. Imagine now you all have a name. So you're all very special people. You have a name. If you don't have a name, you just say girl and write in small letter. If you have a name, you're also special. So start with a capital letter. Fine? So now you can slowly ask, where are you from? Ask questions like this. You say, I am coming from some place. When I come from some place, does it have a name? I come from Mumbai. Wow, it has a name. So if it has a name, what we need to do? Capital. capital. So teach the children the proper noun like this and then help them to learn the capital letters, when to use them. Okay? And then give them something like this, then they go around the class, click on that. Now, let me see how many common nouns that you all can find out in this classroom. Quickly. Mike. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So many, isn't it? Fantastic. So many. These are all the common nouns. Tell the children to go around your classroom and ask them to identify all the common nouns. And make them to write a list. Now they know the sounds. They should be able to write the list of it. Okay. For common noun and proper noun. Noun. If you take noun, the color for noun is black. How many of you are wearing black color dress? Please stand up. Those who are wearing black color dress, please stand up. Oh, very good. Even if it is black, dupatta, it's okay. Wow. Even I am. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Please be seated. Now let me see what all we got. What is this? Whoa, we did the action word. It is red color. This is the action for verb. Red color. How many of you are wearing red color dress? Kindly stand up. There you are. Wow. Thank you so much. Now, we got, I'll just take you to this. Now let's look at this very quickly. When we talk about noun, what color is noun? Black. When we talk about pronoun, it is pink. I, he, she, we say that with pink colors. Then if it is a verb, it is red. Adverbs. Adverbs, the action is this. On top of it, okay? Adverb, the action is this and the color is orange. And then we got adjective. Keep your face like this on your temple and then this is the action for adjective. And the color for adjective is blue. And what do we have? Preposition. And the action for preposition is like this. It's green. What is preposition? Positioning where the noun is. You're trying to find out where the noun is. That's why we call it as preposition. Now what do we have? Conjunction. What is conjunction? Joining the? So we do like this. Okay? And the color is purple. How many of you are wearing purple dress? Okay. Fine, that's really good. Now I'm going to read out something. Do we have any book to read out? Any book, sir? Any book that is there we can read out? Is a catalog? Catalog? No, no. Okay. Can you open this? Anyone? Okay. Now, now remember the colors that I mentioned to you all. Black color means now. Verb. Adverb. Preposition, conjunction, adjective, and then what did I miss? The pink color, which is your pronoun. You're all ready? 
I, I just got out this got this book, so I will read out. Let me see how many nouns are here, how many pronouns are here. So when I read those colored dress, people should stand up. Okay? Inky, come on. Inky was in the garden. So you're all noun only. In was there. So what is that? You're positioning it. So who has to stand? Where are you green? Now and then green. Okay, all of you keep, okay? Looking at the flowers. Looking at the flowers. Looking at the flowers. And listening. Come on, where are the red color people? Verb. And listening to the buzzing of the bees. Wow, so many nouns. What are you doing? What are you doing? So who will have to stand up? Come on. The verbs also have to stand up. The buzzing was getting louder. What was getting louder? So you are describing is it? So who have to stand up? The blue one and then the orange, the verb is also there. The buzzing was getting louder. And Inky could see B jogging around the side of the shed. I want to read and you all have to stand up. Okay, I will not stop. Here we go. Inky looked puzzled. All of you quick, quick. You need to just, just do it very fast. Inky looked puzzled and called out to B. What are you doing? Bees fly, not jog. I am in training, called back B, and she jogged off. I didn't see any noun, verb. Oh, come on girls, as the time goes on, you all become a little tired. Want to go home, just typical class one, holding on to your bag. Want to rush home? But I understand, it's okay. You know what you have to do? Just read out stories. Teach them all the eight parts of speech with colors, with actions. Either you play with actions or make the children to come with the color dress. And ask them to stand up as you're reading out. Then the pronoun has to stand up. The noun has to stand up. Adjective has to stand up. Those who are wearing that particular color, they all will stand up. Isn't it fun? Children try to learn through their mistakes too. Nothing wrong in it. But when they play such games, it helps and allows them to learn. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to ask me? And then you want to just your certificates now. <laughs> okay. So if you see our grammar book, like how we said trigraph, the four letter also makes one sound. E-I-G-H. Also makes a sound? Eight. Eight. Isn't it? Like then if you look into the book, we have a lot of spelling rules which children will learn at different stages. We take them slowly. We don't push everything at one time. My daughter has a word called terrible. It was so terrible to see. At the age of six, she has to read the word terrible where the teacher never taught her what the terrible word sounds like. So isn't it tough for the children to mug up all these words and memorize? So it's better that they learn the sounds and then try to blend on their own. So we're almost done. Please make sure that you do this red readers and yellow readers soon after completing the group number. I mean, I mean group number seven. That is all the 42 summons. When you finish, please make the children to do the reading activity. And then do your alternative sounds and then go on to the next level. When you're doing grammar, simultaneously you can make them to do the reading activity. These are very essential. They have to do reading, writing. This is an independent reading required. They have to just do it. it talks of the readers. Yeah. So they need, now they must be knowing all of these, right? So fine. These are books which Chris has already shown you. So I'm just skipping because the tricky words, it is written over here, which is, then here we go. And one, feedback from the government school official, I mean teacher and then we will wind up okay you want to hear what did he say
common school teacher. Forget this. Listen to what he talks about the concept. Stop that. You know what? These government school children, they're all Tamil medium children. They don't have English in their school. We just introduced Jolly Phonics and we taught the teachers Jolly Phonics. We gave them the training, we gave them a free material. Chris supplied all this for us so that we could pilot it in the government schools. And we found a tremendous improvement in the children. They were able to read and write on their own. Imagine then if you guys do it, you're all wonderful. Such kind of teachers are not there. But you will be able to do it much better than them. Thank you. Thank you so much, teachers, for your patience. It was really a wonderful time spending with you. And uh, I look forward to hear more comments or suggestions for us or any doubts. Feel free to write to us, email us. We are always available. We got some clips of these all government schools running. So, we got the website. You can write to us. Okay? Thank you so much for the wonderful time that you spent with us. Thanks a lot. Is it a wonderful time? Yes. <laughs> Thank you.